here from the basement. Quite have the same range, but it doesn't. No, it's not as cool. Hello everyone and welcome to another card video. Today I am playing with a few things that I bought from W plus nine. I also have some watercolors that were given to me as a gift. So I'm really excited to be making a card today. So let's dive in. I have a Little Dreamers set uh, from W plus nine and it has adorable like stuffed animals and uh, reach for the stars and I love you to the moon and back with this awesome moon hand-drawn moon image I love it and then to go with that I also got the stardust um, it has some backgrounds that I would like to try to use today and I love this oh baby the places you'll go I just love that sentiment I also have some fun black watercolor paper and it's black because these particular watercolors look way more fabulous on dark cardstock and so I picked this stuff up I tested the Stonehenge aqua cold press you can actually get a ton of different papers that they have like that to sample before you invest in the the biggin before you get the biggin so um, I actually really love this stuff so let's play with it I turned on some tunes and got to crafting. Uh, I first grabbed a large piece of this black watercolor paper and cut it down to my holy grail size of Carl, three and a half by four and three quarters. I pulled out my black Epicurean board uh, to basically strap these suckers down. <laughs> I'm going to take some Thermoweb purple tape and just hold them down so they stay as flat as possible usually when you're watercoloring you're using a lot of water and it can warp your paper so this is a way to kind of make sure it stays a little flat i'm using royal and lang nickel brushes today and my faber castell water cup which is kind of gross so let's move that out of the frame <laughs> These watercolors are amazing. Thank you so much, Pam, for sending them to me. They really look fabulous on the black cardstock, which is the kind of the inspiration for today's card. But first, I wanted to test them out and see basically what their capabilities were. Uh, the first panel on your on the left here is going to be a wet on wet technique. I'm first wetting the cardstock in the area of which I want to watercolor, then I'm picking up my watercolors. Now I feel like I my brush was bigger, way bigger than the pan, so I wasn't picking up a good amount of color with my brush. Basically my brush was too big, I felt. But I did learn that you get a lot more pigment out of this if you uh, don't water it down, which is the one on the right, which is a wet to dry paper technique, wet watercolors to dry paper. It really could be all of your personal preference, but I found that these watercolors work better with dry paper. Of course, in true YouTube fashion, it doesn't pick up as well on camera as it does with your own eyes. These are fabulous. Uh, holographic or whatever uh, transitional type watercolors if you hold your paper one way it'll look one color and then if you shift it in the light it'll look a different color and it just looks amazing kind of like my singing now I wasn't getting as good a pigment as I was with my first swatches so I'm going to build up the color First, I'm going to dry the layer that I have and then see if I could build up the color and get it more pigmented. And let me tell you, it worked fabulously. So that's what I did. I set the other uh, color to dry as I built up this color and vice versa after spending some time in my wind tunnel. Uh, this is what it looked like when it was dry. Now, I'm not sure of the name of this color because it's not on the pan itself, but if I had to guess, it's their Nebula color, and it was my favorite out of the four that I have. It doesn't look completely amazing until it's fully dry, so hold on to your horses. I'm using VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink to stamp my images today, and I'm stamping on Arches Hot Pressed Watercolor Paper. This is my current favorite watercolor paper. I'm about to do some watercoloring, so if you would like to skip this part, go right ahead. I also have a Derwent Inktense Pencil Color Map for you uh, that you can see all the colors that I used. I also use a Stampin' Up! Blender Pen that I absolutely love for this technique. 
Derwent Inktense pencils are one of my favorite coloring mediums to use. It's basically a super pigmented pencil that you can add water to its pigment and it will intensify and become a watercolor pigment. My way of using these pencils is I add the pigment to the most intense area of the image and then draw the pigment out with the blender pen. You could also use a water brush or a paint brush and water. I like to use the blender pen because it's a very, very small amount of water and I can control that better than a paint brush with water. Some may say that this is cheaty, cheaty water coloring. It's cheating. I totally agree. <laughs> but you know what? I love the process and I love the result, so I'm gonna keep doing it. So I add the pigment into the darkest of areas on my image, just like I would with any other type of coloring medium, and then draw the color out. And I keep doing this until I feel the image has enough dimension or life to the image, and then I'll stop. You could also take the tip of the blender pen and touch it to the tip of the pencil and actually pick up pigment as if you were using a palette and then use the blender brush with the pigment on it. You could also use these pencils just like any other colored pencil and not blend out the ink, but I think that you're missing like the most attractive part about these pencils if you don't intensify the ink with water. When I get closer to a completed image, then I'll use the pencil kind of like I do with my Gold Faber 273 and I'll go in and just darken the areas with the pencil and not blend it out, but that's a very small amount. I really enjoy using these watercolor pencils and for this entire card, I only used five pencils. I used tan, bark, Sicilian yellow, neutral gray, and carmine pink. All of the shading and the dimension is just using the pencils, having them darker in the shadow areas and blending them out to the whiter areas, and that's it. I'd love to know in the comments if you've tried Derwent Inktense pencils and what your opinion of them are. I usually have a scrap piece of watercolor paper, any kind of paper at all, to kind of clean off my tip of my blender brush when I don't want as much pigment or if I'm changing colors. If you live in the Baltimore, Washington metropolitan area, I am having a class on March 28th of 2020, and I do have a coloring lesson planned for that day. It's called Lucky to Know You, and it's a, an event that's being held in Annapolis, Maryland. If you would love to have more information, please contact me. My email is my name at gmail.com. The event is limited to 25 people, and I've already started promoting the event in my private Facebook group, Procrastination, so that they could get first dibs on tickets. So tickets are currently being sold. If you would like first dibs on future events, I suggest you become a procrastinator. It's a private Facebook group, but everyone is welcome to join. If you don't use Facebook, that's okay too. Sometimes I can't stand social media, especially Facebook, but you know, that's how it is. I plan to do some live craft with me style things in the in the Facebook group this year. So that's another added bonus if uh, if you want more of me, which I don't know why you would want that. But <laughs> one thing I wish the this pack of Derwent, I have all the Derwent Inktense pencils, but I wish they had a better variety of colors. I love the ones that they have, but there are some colors that I just feel like are missing. And so that's my only real complaint about these. Also, I did try to heat emboss some clear stars with those background stamps onto the black watercolor paper and then use the hydrocolors over top of it as like an emboss resist. But the hydrocolors have so like large pigment in it that it basically covered the little tiny stars so it didn't really work out for me and that's why you didn't see me use it on today's project once these little guys started looking a little more three-dimensional i used my brother scan and cut to cut them out i still needed a sentiment so i grabbed a piece of my favorite things black licorice cardstock and my ek success powder tool i prepped it and then stamped with Nouveau Clear Mark embossing powder, the Dream Big Sentiment. This one's gonna go on the front of the card. I'm using Ranger White embossing powder to heat emboss it. These sentiments have a very unique font to them and I think it looks fantastic. I used the Fiskars Wire Guide paper trimmer to cut them out into, or cut it out into a little 
rectangle. And guess what? Total curveball. Not only am I using a white card base, I'm also stamping inside of it. I just had to use the Oh Baby, The Places You'll Go sentiment, which is a nod to Dr. Seuss himself. I'm taking one of the beautiful backgrounds that I created, and look at that, and adding a piece of black craft foam to the back of it to give it some dimension off of the card base with tear tape adhesive. Then I'm taking some Scotch 3M foam tape to pop up all the rest of my images, or most of the images. I did use Nouveau Deluxe liquid adhesive to adhere this adorable bear that's hanging off the cloud. I added the dream big sentiment also using the foam tape and then made sure to crease my card very well with my Teflon bone folder. And that is it, you guys. That is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Leave me a comment down below. I love interacting with you there. I absolutely love how this card turned out. Those watercolors are amazing. They are so pretty. I'm gonna play with the rest of my backgrounds and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Coming up next is a little bit of vlog footage that I have from the past month, including the green screen paint job. Enjoy. Fancy shoes today. Are mine fancy? They're fancier than work boots. Yeah, barely. It's a little bit chilly. That's a lighthouse. Filming you, filming Yeah. It was good. <laughs>